Hello and welcome to Wake Up America. Economic growth has retained a steady crawling rate since the onset of the recession. Some experts have deemed this a recovery, even if it barely satisfies even the most meager definition of the word. Economists are probably somewhat correct in looking at the banks and mortgage companies as scapegoats for the collapse. But if they're the real issue, then why have they fared so much better in the recuperation than the rest of the country? Unemployment and job growth continue to plague an economy that is swallowing its middle class. Meanwhile, Wall Street is enjoying unparalleled successes. J.P. Morgan Chase & Company, the largest bank in the country, is still experiencing record-setting profits. The housing and mortgage markets continue to improve, which is good news for homeowners, but it isn't proportionate to a stalled economy that is still battling joblessness and homelessness. Something doesn't add up. If the financial sect is indeed what got us into this mess, wouldn't it make sense that our overall recovery should mirror theirs? Talk of the sluggish recovery is still typical rhetoric from the mouths of economists, though. The solutions range from spending cuts to spending increases to market confidence to tax reform. And there's valid discussion to be had for all of the above, but that still doesn't explain why revival for the supposed vehicle that caused the collapse has not been reflected in the country as a whole. Perhaps the reason is that there was more of the recession than just irresponsible banks and a housing bubble. The United States, while pushed over the edge by mistakes in the financial sect, was already in motion for a sharp economic decline. The decision-making of the last two decades has caused a drastic change in the American model of success. Politicians now operate under the rule of their lobbyist money, and legislation now reflects the interests of big businesses and banks above all else. Interests which often include outsourcing and foreign production as a means to make more money. Gone are the middle class manufacturing jobs that served as a pillar for the economy to rest upon. They have been replaced by low paying jobs in retail stores selling foreign goods which were once produced here. The banks and stock market have recovered more quickly because the system is now designed to favor them. Terms like trickle-down economics are used as a play to give tax breaks and loopholes to the same banks that were gifted millions in taxpayer bailouts just a few years back. Corporations are encouraged through flawed trade practices to ship their companies abroad to maximize profits. In the meantime, most Americans are left searching for work in a bevy of bad jobs. They're left searching for support from paid-off politicians. And they're left searching for answers from economists when they ask the question, where is this recovery of which you speak? For more news and information, please log on to economyincrisis.org.